Hi, I'm Adam Goodrich. I'm the founder of Procedural Worlds. Procedural Worlds is about 16 people now. Uh, our best known asset is Gaia. It's a world and uh, scene building system. We're also known for Gina and Sector and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So I discovered Unity about 13 years ago. I wanted to go from 2D visualization to 3D. I chose Unity because uh, it had an enterprise language in C-sharp. It had um, excellent coverage of all the different platforms, particularly you know, mobile and VR. And then the asset store, as somebody who was new to 3D, it was a perfect place to learn. So I actually ended up buying a lot of stuff off the asset store to learn my craft in 3D. So, We've sold a lot of copies of Gaia over the years um, and all sorts of people. One of the most fun parts of what I do is I get to see what people do from time to time and the creativity uh, that people do and then the art and just the, the technical brilliance of what people do. It's something that uh, I just love. It makes my day when I see it. One of uh, the cool ones was, was a game called Zenith uh, from Raman VR. They use Sector extensively. You know, the challenges of using a tool which is traditionally seen as more of a high-end desktop and building VR environments, I think, was a really uh, cool use of our tools. Being an asset store publisher is a huge amount of fun. It's exciting. You have this amazing community out there that makes your day. Some of the stories that I get sometimes where people are about to give up and now are doing what they love because our tools help them to do that. I love helping people, so that makes my day. So Gaia ML is uh, a version of Gaia where we've actually integrated Intel's AI toolkit straight into the product itself. We had some feedback that actually installing, compiling the original version of our game toolkit was complex and difficult. And what we do with Gaia is we make complex and difficult things easy. So what we did with uh, the AI game dev toolkit is we built a, an extension to the user interface inside of Gaia so that you could actually add uh, inference and AI workflows into the world generation process of Gaia. And then we put all that into a Unity package and just the same way that you can install any asset into a Unity project, now you can install Gaia ML and it's got everything all set up for you. So there's a lot of potential for this stuff, whether it's procedural generation, uh, doing interesting things with real-time feeds. There's many, many ways you could use this. And, um, you know, my advice to new publishers is Engage with the people at Unity, right? Set yourself up to create win-win scenarios. And if you can demonstrate to Unity how together you're better, then Unity will absolutely jump behind you and support you.